Hi guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to play Dead Tide, and I'm also going to do the Esperanto lessons that I started in um, Infinite Zombies. However, I'm going to start again because I want the the lessons to evolve with the storyline. Plus, you're going to learn words related to the actual story. So here goes nothing. Let's just see how we go. So ooh, that is really loud, eh? Okay. Um, the first thing you'll want to learn when you're learning Esperanto is just the pronouns. So pronouns are basically words like uh, me, I, which is basically the same, um, you, uh, her, what's in there, him, stuff like that. So the pronoun for me in Esperanto, oops, thank you the door, is me, and it's spelled M-I, and I'll put it down the bottom for you guys to see. What the? No, that is too early for that stuff, okay? Okay, so the pronoun for me is me. Now, ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, okay, so I'm gonna... <laughs> Freaking gas. And the pronoun for you is V, and it's spelled V-I. V-I. Yes, I, I can kind of gather that, so let's see if there's any, like, weapon-like object. Ooh! Okay, here's our first in-game related word. The word for weapon is armillo. Is that door actually doing something? No. So it's armillo, armillo. So we're gonna have to look for a lot of those. Okay, so the pronoun for I is me. Do I have a torch? Yes. Okay. The pronoun for I is me, and the pronoun for you is V. Okay, cool. Ooh, this sounds so scary. I love it. But I don't like it, but I love it. Okay, so I've got to go to the engine room by the sounds of this. Also, I'm... Okay. So, the f before we can really, like, create anything, we need to learn some auxiliary verbs. Now, uh, for those who don't know, auxiliary verbs are basically like um, is, am, are... Uh, will There's be, no to here, be, Captain. going to be, um, yeah, more. going to be, technically. So, was that a zombie? Okay. So let's just go in here. Ah, no. Nah. Okay, so, um, stupid random loud noises of death. Okay. Whoa! That was just rude. Okay, so, the present tense auxiliary verb is, am, are, are basically the same. They're just different in English based on who's saying it and on the particular or whatever. So I've got to look for somewhere to... Oh wait, no, I'm going to go out there. So for is, am, are, that's estas in Esperanto. And it's called E-S-T-A-S. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go down here. So estas, estas. And do you remember how to say I? It is me. Me. Do you remember how to say you? It is V. V. So how would you then say uh, I am? Me estas. Me estas. And how would you say you are? V estas. V estas. And do you remember the word for weapon? It is armillo. Armillo. Oh, I can hear like zombie type sounds. Now since we're going to be deal, that's a zombie. There we go. Since we're going to be dealing with zombies in this... Okay. Die, you random zombie! Since we're going to be dealing with these guys a lot, we might as well learn the word for them. Okay. Oh, shit! Come here! Oh! Okay, I'm going to... Can I loot these guys? What's that? What's that? Is that like a loot word? Like, do they have cash that I can nick? Oh! There's a zombie down there. I don't... Hi! Well, did he just, like, die on a plank or something? Yeah, so the word for zombie, keep getting distracted, is zombio. Zombio. Very important word, especially on my channel, because I freaking love zombies. In a... Oh, God! Yeah. Ooh, cash! I need to get out of here. Yeah, I know, woman. Get the hell off my back! Okay, what's up? Can you hear something? Anything there? No. What is this? That's a medical kit. Press H. You stay down. You stay down. Okay. Where is that zombie? 
Where is he? Okay, so I'm going to press H to use a medical kit. What's this? Um, weak hand bow required level 15. <gasps> Jesus Christ almighty! I'm not ready for this, okay? No more zombie Oh, there he is. He's just sitting up there randomly yelling and I'm like flipping out. Now it's done. Close that door because I don't know if there's another zombie there. And I don't know if they can open doors, which is even more scary. Okay, so I am is me Estas. I'm just going to put it. Ooh, there's zombies down there. Ooh, I'm not ready. Okay, let's do this. Don't be a bitch. Oh. Oh, no. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Eat the kick, eat, and take that in the face. Uh, uh. Some of that stupid zombie. Yeah, you too, in the face. Uh, okay. Oh wait, he's not dead. Uh, now relax. Okay. So what was the word for zombie? <laughs> it was <gasps> zombie. <-o. laughs> okay. And now, just because this is gonna, we're gonna need this to make. Oh my God, he's bleeding out of his head. I'm so sorry. I am. Well, you did start it. Hey, what is that? What is that? So, F for energy drink. Drink. Energy drink taken. So, does that... Oh, does that, like, increase my energy levels? Or well, obviously it does that, but, like, what's the energy levels? Do? Let's just close that door. So, um... Oh, <laughs> meat cleaver. <laughs> so, um, yeah. A zombie isn't a her or a him. Take that, you. Mm, mm, in the back. Any more of you guys? What the? Look at this guy, man! He is beefed up! <laughs> this zombie has been working out. Look at the pecs on him, man. And, oh, I am so sorry about that. That looks really brutal, eh? Like, I'm not normally like this. I'm a pacifist. Except you're a zombie, so you don't count. I mean, what do we got in here? So we got some wrench, that. Okay, so that's that, that. I don't know how to tell which one of these is better or not. Okay, so... I'm scared that guy's gonna get up. Okay, now zombies aren't... If you're gonna refer to someone, you'll say him or her, naturally, in English. Um, since zombies don't really have a gender anymore, because you know, they can't really continue on the species without biting people, and that can be kind of erotic in a sense. But yeah, since they're not really him or hers, you'd say it when talking about a zombie. So the word for it in Esperanto is G. So how would you say it is a zombie then? You would say G estas zombio. G estas zombio. And as you can here. see, there is some zombies in front of me. Whoa. Take that, take that. Okay, he's gonna come at me, he's gonna come at me. Take that. I need to take some medical kits, eh? I'm getting low. Oh, I need medicamento. Ah, god, cheeseburgers. Oh, $8 I've lost, that's brutal, man. It's brutal. Okay. So, can I get my weapons back at least? Or do I have to, like, suffer without my... Oh wait, no, I've got my weapon. Oh yeah. Is that damage? Like it's... Oh no, that's looks like wooden plank. I don't think that's a very effective weapon. Oh. Mm, take that. Mm, take that. Okay. Don't mess with me. 32 bucks taken. Man, I don't actually really carry physical cash anymore. Have you guys noticed that? You walk around and you just pull out a credit card for like literally everything. Unless you're a poor student, then I'm assuming you have a couple of bucks and you gotta shuffle around your coins and decide what's best to use. But no, I just walk around for credit card these days. Huh. Now, uh, what's this? Large battery. Challenge progress treasure hunter. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna learn the word for... Well, we might as well learn the word for water because we're surrounded by it. So the word for water in Esperanto is akvo. Akvo. Close the oh, dude, I just scared myself by kicking. <laughs> okay, so the word for water in this brand is akvo. Akvo. <laughs> just ignore that random fail. 
I saw my own leg and went, ah! So, Akavo, and that's spelled A K V O. Why do I keep pressing the wrong goddamn key? I'm trying to close the door, but I'm like kicking it instead. So E is to kick, F is to loop. Awesome. Just remember that, guys, when you play this game. Okay, so the word for uh, we're gonna learn a new word now. So the word for cat is cut off. Cut off. And it's spelled K A T O, and it sounds pretty similar to English, so I don't think you guys will have an issue with that one. What is this? A wrench? Random object or fists? Hmm, I really... Hey, where'd my meat cleaver go? Hey, hang on! Where'd it go? I... Maybe it broke. Okay. So, yeah, the word for cat is cut off. So how would you say... Oh, by the way, I'll learn you... I'll learn you. I'll teach you something, um, a little bit about Esperanto grammar, okay? So, you know how we're using it to talk about a zombie? So, I have a on bugs. So, it is used for zombies, but we also use the word it when referring to animals, unless you really, really want to specify gender. And also when we're talking about babies, unless again you really want to specify gender. Um, I'm not sure why that is, it's just kind of like the case. There's a lot of zombies in here, so how can I get them to come up here? Come to me. Okay, so they're down. Give me some cash. Give me some cash. Okay, uh, we might as well learn that word as well. So the word for money is mono. Mono. And it's called M O N O. So there's zombies around here, there's one over there. Hey, mate. Hey, hey, you wanna dance? You wanna dance? Come dance. Oh, mate. And I'm gonna kick you in the face! Oh, that was actually in the belly. Oh, he actually fought back. Why would you do that? Is there a zombie behind me or something? Um, this weapon's not really that effective, man. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I gotta remember to take those in the health kits. They're kind of important. What? Where is he? Where is he? Where the freaking hell is that zombie? It sounded like he was right behind me. Probably was. I'm gonna turn around and see him and then look out. There's water everywhere. Yeah, I can kind of see that woman. Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, Haha, I saw you! Oh shit! Oh, get off of me, you burly man! Stop demasking me! Whatever that word is, I'm just making up now. Wow, look at those abs, man. Am I drowning? Oh no, he's still alive. I was wondering what that blah, 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 sound was. Okay, I'm cash, give me some cash. I'm assuming this ship isn't actually gonna like just sink with me on it. So it's gonna like wait until I go to certain rooms. If not, I'll be dead very soon. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna learn the word for horse now. And the word for horse is chevalo. And it's got a special C and I'll put it down there for you. A C with a ooh. A C with a hat on it is a CH sound, like in chocolate. So chevalo. I see you. Take that, take that, take that, some of that, and a little bit more of that. Oh! God damn it! Why would you do that to me? Oh man, that really hurt. I'm underwater. I can't see, I can't see. I gotta kick, 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 kick. Just kick something. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go? I'm like flipping out now. H. Yeah, take some of that stuff. I don't know how much more of that I've got. I'm, I'm just getting out of here, man. I don't want to hang around down here. So yeah, the word for horse is Chevalo. Yeah, well, that's lovely. I'll just hit you, just in case. Oh, you're kidding me. They're giving me guns already? That can't be good. Shotgun ammo. Help kit. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, come on. Whoa! Was that meant to happen, or was that just me being too slow? I'm guessing it was me just being too slow. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now that's what we're talking about, baby. Can I pick this stuff up? Why can't I pick it up? I must have full. I mean, I got 20 only. That doesn't seem right. Shotgun ammo. 57 bucks? What do you mean? I'm gonna purchase it? What is this? 
there's some dude gonna come around the corner and go, hey mate, yeah, that's gonna cost you 57 bucks. Um, yeah, I realize like the whole ship's covered in zombies and everything, but you know, this is a capitalist society. We don't, you know, we follow by the rules around here, man. Okay, so I got 20, 20 bullets sent. I'm just gonna roll with this. Okay, that didn't work out too well. Shots of these guys take the play down. Okay, let's just pick that up. Pick up the mono. Remember the word for money is mono. And shoot the zombie on the head. Because you know, he's. Oh, what's wrong, mate? You can't get up? Oh, how about that? Just get kicked in the face. I can't believe I'm just looting. Whoa. Dude, man, they, they really kebabbed him. They did him in good. He must have tasted really good, eh? Oh, random fact for you guys. I don't know if this has happened with you. Um, what? What? No, give me back my shotgun. I don't understand this. Like, oh. My shotgun's gone. What the? What the bejeebus? Oh, freaking hell. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this game to just be losing my most important weapons. Can I go back? Yeah, I'm gonna run back and get me another shotgun. Because I ain't walking nowhere without a shotgun. I'm just not certain about that guy, that's all. So... No... Where are all the guns gone? What a... I don't understand. I need my Adamiloy. Oh, whatever. Fight onwards. Simplify. Okay. So yeah, um, random thing I noticed. Uh, here in Australia, we have like mosquitoes everywhere, okay? And when I go out in bush, I'll get bit like two or three times. But nothing major. Oh. Nothing major at all. But my missus, who's um, of Chinese origin, she just gets munched on, man, like totally smashed with them. So I'm, I'm actually thinking, is it because like the blood type or something, or just because, you know, she tastes better? Like, I, I'm not like exactly the best tasting thing in the world. What is this, like a spear gun or something? Like, it's a massive spear. Anyway, so, well, anyway, back to our lesson. So we learned the word for horse. And the word for horse was chavalo. Do you remember the word for cat? It was kato. Oh god, this is gonna get bad. Oh, get off my face! Oh, yeah! Actually, this is pretty nifty, this thing. Okay. I'm guessing I just broke the shotgun before. So, yeah, we're gonna learn the next word. <gasps> what was that? The next word we'll learn is table, and the word for that is tablo. Come here, you mofo, and kick in the face. Ah! Back off, zombie! Stay down. Know when you're beat. Oh man, I'm lowing, running low on energy. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Okay, this kick is pretty effective, eh? Just kick them while they're all down. So yeah, the word for table is tablo. Do I have any other weapons I can just start bashing people with? Like, seriously. I'm just going to kick these guys in the butt until they die. Oh wow, that was brutal dead man walking. Okay, I've got a lighter. Got this. What else? What do you guys got? Got some cash. Need some cash. There's another one of those freaking things around here somewhere. Okay, so yeah, the word for table is tablo. Next word we will learn is object, and that is objecto. 
I'm scared there's something behind me, eh? I am paranoid of something being right behind me. And the word for object is objecto. Objecto. I don't understand this. There's weapons everywhere. Yet, well, I mean, ammo everywhere, yet I can't pick any of it up. Okay. Yeah. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. Or I'll just bash people to death, I guess. Wow, look at the ocean, man. That is awesome. By the way, the word for ocean is oceano. Oceano. Just remember that one. That's a pretty handy word. Okay. So, yeah, the word for object is objecto. So, how would you say... Oh, sucks to be you, mate. No, not that. Um, how would you say a table is an object? Tablo estas objecto. What is all that, like, F word? Oh, okay, that was brutal. Okay, sorry, uh, if I went a little bit quiet and I listened here. Oh shit, H, H, H. Mmm, take some of that. Yeah, good. Oh, that hurt. Um, yeah, the next word we're going to learn is book, and that is libro. Libro, and it's spelled L I B R O. Oh, get off! Mm. So, L I B R O. Okay, cool. Got that, got that, got that, got that. Um, the color of the weapon indicates its quality. Lowest weapon quality is gray. Four. Okay. What? Where's that zombie? Okay, cool. So how would you say a book is an object? I'm just going to check if anything down here quickly. Libro estas objecto. Do you remember the word for horse? It is cevallo. Cevallo. So how do you say I am a book? I know that makes no sense, but we're just going to go with that. Ooh. Stop. What about this? They're your problem now. Me estas libro. Yeah, man, that's true. Cool. I worry about your own survival, Colonel. Stop. That guy is a jack. I hope this helicopter crashes in the ocean. Okay. This is pretty cool. So they've got heaps of part of me Whoa, what did we just get? Or was that just a massive wave? By the way, the word for wave in Espano is Ondo. Oh, I think. Wow, what is with that guy's bubbly head? Now, I'm assuming that guy's head explodes, and if that's the case. Um, I'm going to call him an Explodulo. Oh, I like working with other people. It makes me less paranoid I'm going to get killed by zombies. Um, I'm just going to keep shooting this one because he looks scary. So the zombie are attacking us. Oh wow, I'm out of ammo, great. New weapons upgrades available. I'm going to have to go back and read the manual for this book, seriously. I mean, for this game. Because I'm just going to let that guy fight him out. zombie -o! So, he's a very tall zombie, and the word for tall is alta. Alta. As so it's spelled A L T A. Oh, okay, that hurt. Um, hitting the limb with the blunt. Okay, that's lovely. Good to know. 
And I think after this kill, we have reached our time. And I'll call it for the day. So I'll just start doing some revision. Now, how do you say I am? Mi estas. And how do you say you are? Vi estas. And what's the word for water? It is akvo. And what was the word for weapon? It was armillo. And do you remember zombie? This should be an easy one. Come on. Come on. Zombio. And what is he? He is very tall. And the word for tall is alta. Okay, cool. So that's it for this lesson, guys. I'm going to cut it here because I feel like we just finished the first chapter of this game. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please like this, share it with your friends. And also, make sure that you come watch my next video because if you're not there, I will find you and I will set zombies upon you. So have a great day.